Hello and welcome to the Safe World. Today we are going to talk about the differences between the previous version of Safe and the new version of Safe, which has been launched recently. That is the previous version of Safe, which was 5.1, and the new version of Safe, which is 6.0. So I'm planning on having three episodes. The first episode is mainly uh, where we are going to compare the big picture side by side, making sure we understand the differences by looking at the big picture itself. In the future episodes, we will talk about the more details of the key differences and what Safe 6 is going to focus on. So let's get started with the differences on the big picture. Right, so here we are. When you look at the big picture, this is how I want to actually show you the differences. By putting the big picture side by side, this is the old version on the left, is the old version of safe, which is safe five, or you can say 5.1. And this one is the new version of safe, which is safe six on the right side. So by looking at the two big picture, structurally they both look the same, isn't it? So what exactly are the similarities? If you notice that the structure uh, and the overall framework looks similar. What I mean is there are still three layers, which is in the old configuration, the previous, uh, the previous um, framework, still there were three layers. Um, and even in 6.0, they maintain the same three levels or three layers in the form of essential art solution and portfolio. So that remains the same. And also what remains the same are the configurations. So as you can see on the top in the previous version of SAFE, we had four configurations. And that continues to be the same here as well. The four, continue, uh, the four configurations are also the same in 6.0. And also the con core competencies, right? So there are there were seven core competencies in the previous configuration. As you can see, these seven core competencies were highlighted on the left side of the framework. And there is six of them on the left and one at the bottom. So the number of core competencies and the names of these four competencies remain the same in 6.0 as well. Only difference is the placement of these core competencies, right? So as you can notice, six of them were there in the previous version, but now you have five core competencies placed on the left, uh, but the, the two core competencies which are at the bottom as part of your foundation um, are Lean Agile Leadership, which was at the center below before, now it has been moved to the bottom left and they have actually placed the continuous learning culture as well as part of the foundation to the bottom right. The main intent, intent of placing these two, I believe, is that without lean agile leadership and the learning culture of a company and of an organization to continuously learn and improve, the agility will not work, right? So that is the intent of placing these two as part of the foundation. So these are the similarities and a slight change in placement of the core competencies. Otherwise, the structure remains the same. Now let's look at the key differences between the two. Now, when you look at one of the key differences, it is that when you place these core competencies, they have also highlighted which, which layers do they pertain to, right? Which layers do they focus towards? So for example, as you can see, uh, technical team and technical agility core competency and agile product productivity core competencies, there is a gray bar which covers this area, which relates to essential layer or essential level of safety. So what it means is the focus of team and technical agility and agile product delivery is, is towards the essential configuration or essential layer of safe. Similarly, if you want to scale up to the next level, which is the large solution layer or large solution configuration, you have to add one more core competency, which is your essential solution, sorry, enterprise solution delivery. Again, there is a gray bar, which specifically clearly uh, states the same. And uh, similarly, if you want to scale up to the portfolio level, there is a gray bar attached to the lean portfolio management core competency as well. 
So visually, it is even more clearer in terms of which core competencies focuses on which section or which uh, layer or configuration of, of, of the framework itself. So there is better clarity out there. They have also added the gray bar towards organizational agility. So any organization, if they want to transform, right, it's important for, for them to realize that the focus is on the flow of value. So organizational agility requires the flow of value. That is why it is right on the top. And it talks about what the enterprises, the government, they need to do in terms of certain decision making, in terms of strategy, in terms of budgeting, in terms of resourcing, in terms of um, organizing their resources towards the flow of value. And that is one of the key differences here as well, because if you notice, the operational value stream was at the top in the previous version of SAFE. Now this has got shifted to more towards the organizational agility section because operational value stream defines the value, the flow of value. This is why the business exists. What is the trigger? What is the value? And what are the key steps from trigger to value? That has to be defined and all the people, all the resources, all the work has to be arranged based on the flow of value. This is why we say, break the silos, bring everyone together towards the same purpose, towards the same focus to deliver the same value. And that is what organizational agility is all about. So they have clearly want to call that out in the big picture. And that's what uh, is the reason they have moved it from on the top to, to more towards the left. So this is about the core competency. Now let's talk about the roles and responsibility section, right? In the previous version of SAFE, as you can see, um, let's start from the team level. So as you can see, the roles at the team level uh, were product owners, scrum master, and the teams who do the work. Now the change that has happened in 6.0 from the team level roles and responsibilities are, the roles pretty much remains the same, right? Scrum master, product owner, and the doers who do the work. But what they have also added at the team level is instead of just calling it Scrum Master, they have also added the term team coach. And the reason is that not every team is following Scrum. There are some teams who follow Kanban or something else, right? So we cannot call everyone a Scrum Master in its own way. So usually teams who follow Scrum will have Scrum Masters, whereas the teams who are following Kanban or any other practice, they will have team coaches. So that they wanted to call it out. So that is the, one of the key changes at the from the roles perspective that they have made in 6.0. Moving on to the other roles on the top, right? Pretty much remains the same. There is a very minute change between that, right? So if you notice in the previous version of SAVE, they had system architects slash engineers. Similarly, at the solution level, the, the responsibilities, the roles were solution architects slash engineers, right? And that has been modified in 6.0. They have removed the word engineers and they have just maintained the term system architect and solution architect at these levels, okay? I believe they want to specify that system and solution architects and enterprise architects, they play a vital role in bringing um, solutions, the right solutions to the customers with quality. So they want to make sure their roles and responsibilities are identified and called out specifically out there. That's why they, I believe they have made that change. So this is from the role perspective. Now let's go further inside to understand from the process perspective what changes have been made. So from the process perspective, if you notice, first and foremost, um, in the previous version of SAFE, you still had Scrum and you still had Kanban. The idea remains the same even in 6.0. The only change that they have made is instead of just calling it Scrum, they call it SAFE Scrum and SAFE Team Kanban. So the intent is to, I believe, is to, is to specify that um, the, the idea of Scrum is the same, but there could be some change in terms, um, which is more specific to SAFE within the Scrum events that is being done when, when SAFE is being, being used, right? So that is why it is called more like a customized Scrum process for people who are using SAFE 
It's because there has been certain changes in the terms which has used or, or the scrum events which is used in tape, especially in 6.0 that they, they, they have made those changes. I will talk about those changes later on in the in the upcoming videos, but mm -hmm. just wanted to make sure that is one of the reasons they call it out as safe scrum and safe team Kanban. The other change that um, is very evident is if you notice that Kanban is specified everywhere in the previous version of safe, right? At the, at, the, at the program backlog, you have the vertical Kanban. Similarly, solution backlog, you have the vertical Kanban and portfolio Kanban, you have the vertical Kanban. Uh, what portfolio backlog has vertical Kanban. And that has been removed in safe 6.0. You don't see this vertical Kanban on the top, right? In any of these backlog has been removed. And uh, the intent, I believe, is that instead of calling out Kanban in different places, they want to, they want to, for people to understand that Kanban is a process, right? And uh, using Kanban has to be understood at one single location. So instead of having multiple locations where people have to go and treat, try to read Kanban, they wanted to structure it at one place. And that is why they removed those Kanbans from different areas. But the focus is on flow in 6.0. They want to make sure everyone understands the flow is the most important thing in value delivery, right? Flow of value. And that is why Kanban is extremely critical, even in 6.0. In fact, there is more emphasis towards Kanban in 6.0. So that is one of the reasons that they have called out team flow, art flow, solution train flow, and portfolio flow. This is a huge addition from the previous versions of SAFE. So 6.0, this has been added in the framework directly as well. Flow was important even in the previous versions of SAFE, but it was never called out specifically on the framework. Now they are actually calling it out, trying to make sure everyone understands why flow is required and how flow actually matters at different stages within the framework, right, within the enterprise. So this is a huge change that has been added. The next part, I believe, again, a major difference between the previous versions of SAFE and the new version is they have removed the word program, right? They have removed the word program altogether. So SAFE, uh, I believe this is, this is the intent. SAFE says that, okay, we have to move away from projects to products. So if you are removing the word projects, then why are we keeping the word programs? Right, so they have made a very conscious decision of removing the word programs from throughout the framework itself. So the program backlog, which was called the program backlog in the previous version of SAFE, is now called art backlog, right? And again, in the future videos, I'm going to especially tell you the differences of, of all these terms, right? How it has been changed in the new version. The biggest change is PI. PI still remains the same. We still had PI in the previous version of SAFE. We still have PI in the new version of SAFE. But PI was called, in the early version, it was used to be called program increment. But they removed the word program, right? So now it is called a planning interval, right? Planning interval. And that is one of the changes that has been made but the acronym remains the same as PI, all right? So that is the other part which has been added. The next important part is solution backlog. It's a, it's a minor change, I would say. Solution backlog is now called solution train backlog because you have train backlog, right? Agile release train backlog. Similarly, they want to keep the same um, kind of a thought process, even at the solution level. So instead of just calling it solution backlog, now they have added the word solution train backlog out there as well. The next is, in, when we go further inside, now we will try to understand at the solution level. So let's continue to remain at the solution level. And there has been a very important change out here as well. There, Coordination between trains, right? So solution train is what? Com combination of multiple agile release trains, right? Now, how do these agile release trains coordinate with each other? 
and where where do they coordinate with each other how do they coordinate where do they coordinate all these things actually used to be happening during pre pi planning and post pi planning meetings in the previous version of safe but now in the new version of safe they have actually removed the terms pre pi planning and post pi planning and they have replaced it with so the pre pi planning has been replaced with something called pre plan and the post pi planning has has been replaced with coordinate and deliver right so this is one important change that they have made is um, the pre pi and the post pi planning has been replaced by these two new keywords pre pi planning is now called pre plan where the idea remains the same the coordination of the trains happens in pre plan to understand what is the priority of work for every train before they get it to their pi planning similarly the post pi planning has been replaced by the word coordinate and deliver and the idea remains the same where the trains after their own pi planning and uh, event and coming up with their pi objectives and the risks and dependencies they will come back and discuss with each other in terms of what the objectives were decided by the trains and how they interact with each other and how they are dependent on each other all those things even happens during the coordinate and and deliver uh, event so it's just the naming that has been changed out here to be more clear and more specific on what actually happens between these two all right so now talking about more changes which has been added which were not there before but it has been added with now one of the big changes is called big data so big change big data there you go this was not there in the previous version of safe there is a this has been a new addition to safe 6 of pro um where they want to make sure that everyone understands big data is of a lot of importance going forward right and uh, the other part is value stream management if you notice here this is called value stream management this has been added as well in 6.0 they didn't have this in the previous version of safe and what is value stream management so the idea is apmo right they had apmo in the previous versions of safe now that has been replaced with um, value management office where value stream management is of clear importance so everything is about value everything about value stream everything is about how do you manage the flow of value how do you how do you reduce waste and be lean about the whole thing so how do you manage it and that has been called out in value stream management and this is where we will have a uh, value management office we will have a uh, lace right lace which is lean agile center of excellence they all come into play uh, towards this value stream management itself the next change which has been evident for me is calling out the word solutions in lot solution layer itself right they didn't have this in the previous version even if even though lot solution was delivering solutions but they they didn't call it out as such they had a solution called out at the essential level they had solutions called out at the portfolio level but they didn't have it at the lot solution level which was a bit surprising initially as well for me but they have they have added that in 6.0 this you know completes the thought process now this was something which was missing which has been fixed which has been added out here as well one more thing which is new in safe 6.0 is the addition of cloud so everything is about cloud in today's world so we have to update so safe had to update their framework to call out cloud and this is where how cloud interacts with devsecops how how do they talk to each other how do they how how does company use cloud to their advantage to deliver value faster so that has been called out so it's a very important article uh, when you click on it so it's it's a good read for you to have so this has been added there is a lot of focus towards cloud so these are the key changes at the framework inside the framework now let's talk about the spanning palette right so there have been few changes which has happened in the spanning palette some of the things remains the same like vision is the same roadmap is the same those things are still the same but what they have added and they are putting a lot of attention and focus in today's world for safe 6.0 is okrs how important is okrs how how do you 
to write OKRs in an efficient manner because OKRs actually will drive all the work towards delivering value. So everything is measurable. The metrics has to be right. The, the, the traceability has to be there. So that is why OKRs are very, very important. They have called it out, out here. They have also added AI, right? How can we do, how can we not do without AI? AI is an integral part of every company in today's world. And that is why SAFE has added the AI term. They are putting a lot of focus and attention towards AI in this version of SAFE, right? So this has been called out as well. Now, one change that they have made, as I observed and I saw, was um, that measure and grow from the previous version of SAFE, right? So measure and grow was right on the top, top right. Now, this has been moved in the new version towards the spanning palette. So measure and grow is now part of the spanning palette. And uh, it's an important change because everything has to be measured, right? Throughout the enterprise, throughout the framework, it has to be measured. So it, it makes more sense if you ask me that having a measure and grow call out at the spanning palette um, was, was a, a good idea right there. Now, there was one thing which was, which again got shifted was lean UX. So in the previous version of SAFE, the lean UX was part of the spanning palette. Now it has been called out within the essential SAFE directly because it's an integral part of delivering value it cannot just be floating around on the side. So they have called out specifically in terms of what they need to do to be part of the team directly as part of the train directly. So this has been changed as well. And the last thing I would like to say is in terms of business agility, look at this. The previous version of SAFE, right? The business agility was right on the top, yes. But what the critical thing that we have made is they have called out business agility even more, right? In the new version of SAFE, the color is different. The color is bolder. The, the te text is bolder. It is, it, is, it is bigger because everything is about business agility. And they also changed the flow, right? The, the, the icon of business agility is about the flow of value from trigger to value. Everything is about how do you deliver value faster to the customers, right? That's what matters. So business agility has been called out very, very boldly, very clearly right there on the top. So these were the main changes um, of, of SAFE 6.0 from the big picture perspective. In the future videos, we will also talk about the details of the changes in 6.0. Hope you liked it. Hope it was uh, useful for you. Thank you very much for your time. See you later. By the way, I'm Kumrish. Thank you.